Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the sum of the roots of this exponential equation. And let me tell you, it's not one. Now, when most people see such exponential equations, this is how they start to solve it. We have 2 to the power x squared times 5 to the power x is equal to 2 times 5. Of course, you know that here the power of 2 is 1 and the power of 5 is 1. Now, one group will simply equate the power of 2 on the left-hand side to the power of 2 on the right-hand side. When you do that, you have x squared is equal to 1. And then they will equate the power of 5 on the left-hand side to the power of 5 on the right-hand side. When you do that, you have x is equal to 1. But in doing so, you get one right root and one wrong root. Because yes, we know that x equals 1 satisfies this equation. But from here, you have that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1. So you have that x is equal to plus 1 or minus 1. And we know that minus 1 does not satisfy this exponential equation. Now, the second group of people will say, since 1 is equal to 1, then x squared must be equal to x. And they do x squared is equal to x. Of course, from here, we have that x squared minus x is equal to 0. When we factorize, we have x into x squared divided by x is x. And x divided by x is 1. And this is equal to 0. Once more, from here, we have that either x is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that x is equal to 1. Now, you can see that once more, we have one right root and one wrong root. Now, the correct way to solve such equations is this. We are also going to start out by noting that 2 to the power x squared multiplied by 5 to the power x is equal to 2 times 5. But in this case, we are going to divide through this equation by 2 times 5. Of course, remember that when two numbers with the same base divide themselves, we simply subtract their powers. Here we have the power 1 and here we have the power 1. So on the left-hand side of this equation, we have 2 to the power x squared minus 1 multiplied by, here we have 5 to the power x minus 1. And of course, on the right hand side, this is going to cancel that to give us 1. Now, notice that here we can write 1 as 1 squared. When we do that, you're going to see the difference of two squares. And you know how we factorize this. This can be factorized as 2 to the power x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. We still have 5 to the power x minus 1, and this is equal to 1. Now, since we have a common power on the left-hand side of this equation, that is x minus 1, we can write the left-hand side as 2 to the power x plus 1 multiplied by 5, both to the power x minus 1 is equal to 1. Now, at this point, we have to remember two things. One is that any number raised to power 0 is equal to 1. That is, a to the power 0 is equal to 1. That means that for this equation to be true, then x minus 1 must be equal to 0. So we have x minus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here we have that x is equal to 1. This is the first root. Also, we have to remember that 1 raised to any power is equal to 1. That is, 1 to the power n is equal to 1. So that means that this, that is 2 to the power x plus 1 multiplied by 5, must be equal to 1 for this equation 
to be satisfied. And of course, from here, we have that 2 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 5. That is when we divide both sides of this equation by 5. Now, remember that the left-hand side of this equation can be written as 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power 1, which, of course, is 2. And this is equal to 1 over 5. Once more, when we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we have that 2 to the power x is equal to 1 over 5 multiplied by 1 over 2, which is equal to 1 over 10. And of course, at this point, to solve this exponential equation, we take log of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that log to base 2, let us take log to base 2, of 2 to the power x is equal to log to base 2 of 1 over 10. But then you know that log to base 2 of 2 to the power x is equal to x. So we have that x is equal to log to base 2 of 1 over 10. So this is the second real root of this exponential equation. So we have that x is equal to log to base 2 of 1 over 10. Now using a calculator, we have that this is approximately equal to minus 3.322. Now, an alternative way of solving this exponential equation is to start by taking log of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have that log 2 to the power x squared times 5 to the power x is equal to log 10. Remember that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10, common log readings. And of course, you know that log to base 10 of 10 is equal to 1. Now, you know that this is a product. So we can write this left-hand side as log 2 to the power x squared plus log 5 to the power x. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule of log readings to these two log terms. That is, we have x squared times log 2 plus x times log 5 is equal to 1. Now, you can see that we have the quadratic equation. Let us rearrange this quadratic equation. We have x squared times log 2 plus x times now you know that we can write 5 as 10 over 2 and then bringing this over to the left hand side we have minus 1 and this is equal to 0 and of course from here we have x squared times log 2 plus using our laws of log reading we can write this as x times log 10 minus log 2. Then we have minus 1 is equal to 0. Once more, remember that log 10 is equal to 1. So this equation is x squared times log 2 plus opening this bracket, we have x minus x times log 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this equation. When you look at these two terms, you're going to see a common factor, which is x. So we have x into x squared log 2 divided by x. Of course, it's going to give us x log 2. And x divided by x is going to give us 1. Now, what do we divide these two terms with to give us exactly x log 2 plus 1 minus 1? So here we have minus 1 minus x log 2 divided by minus 1 is going to give us x log 2. And minus 1 divided by minus 1 is going to give us plus 1. And this is equal to 0. Now we have two of these. So we pick 1. We have x 
log 2 plus 1. And we have x minus 1. And this is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that either x log 2 plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here, we have that x log 2 is equal to minus 1. Dividing both sides by log 2, we have that x is equal to minus 1 over log 2. But now, let us write 1 in terms of log 10. So we have that this is equal to minus log 10. Because of course, you know that log 2 is 10 of 10 is equal to 1. Divided by log 2. Of course, now that we have both of these log readings in base 10, we can write this as minus log to base 2 of 10. When you apply the power rule of log reading, you will be able to take this multiplier, that is minus 1, up to become the exponent of 10. When you do that, this becomes log to base 2 of 10 to the power minus 1. And of course, you know that 10 to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 over 10. So this is the same as log to base 2 of 1 over 10, which is exactly what we got using the first method. And of course, from here, we have that x is equal to 1, which is the trivial solution to this exponential equation. And now that we have both values of x, we have that the sum of the roots of this exponential equation is 1 plus log to base 2 of 1 over 10. Or if you want it in decimal, it is going to be minus 2 point three two two approximately equal to this now to check our answer let us substitute these two values of x into the left hand side of the original equation let us write this as two to the power x multiplied by five both to the power x of course you know that to open this bracket we have two to the power x times x which is x squared times five to the power x now, when we substitute 1 into this equation, we are going to have 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. And when we substitute log to base 2 of 1 over 10 into this equation, we have 2 to the power log to base 2 of 1 over 10 times 5 to the power log to base 2 of 1 over 10. Remember that a to the power log to base A of B is equal to B when these two bases are the same. So 2 to the power log to base 2 of 1 over 10 is equal to 1 over 10. Then we have times 5. Both of these raised to power log to base 2 of 1 over 10. 5 into itself is 1. Into 10 is so from here we have 1 over 2 to the power log to base 2 of 1 over 10. But of course you know that this is the same as 2 to the power minus 1 to the power log to base 2 of 1 over 10. And once more when we have two powers like this we multiply. So this is equal to 2 to the power minus log to base 2 of 1 over 10. Now let us apply the power rule to this exponent. We are going to take up the multiplier minus 1 to become the exponent of 1 over 10. When we do that, we have 2 to the power log to base 2 of 1 over 10 to the power minus 1. But you know that 1 over 10 to the power minus 1 is equal to 10. So this is 2 to the power log to base 2 of 10. Now, when we go back to this, we have 2 to the power log to base 2 of 10, which of course is equal to 10, which is exactly what we have on the right-hand side 
of the original equation. So we have that this value of x is correct. And of course, this value of x is trivial. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.